from mouth to mouth resuscitation. It's almost like what you said earlier um, about his death almost being a springboard mm -hmm. for the movement. And it's very telling to have a government agent get yeah. that close mm -hmm. at his death and actually be the one that's apparently yeah. pumping life or attempting to pump life back in the marble. Mm -hmm. what, what's your views about First of all, I feel that, what's his name again? I'm sorry. Uh, first, I feel, what? Gene, Gene Roberts. Roberts. First, I feel Gene Roberts is absolutely, uh, I don't know, uh, hardly understands the detriment of his actions. Wait, can I just veer off a little bit? I want to bring up to Omar. Remember the film we saw? Brother yeah. right Yes. Here. I remember. First of all, why the heck did that guy use Kenyatta and Gene Roberts to tell that story? You know, and also, We're gonna take Gene out, Roberts did not even seem, you know, I mean, he didn't feel guilty at all. He of his role. He no remorse. No remorse. At all. Not only that, but there's been interviews of him in the paper. I don't think he thinks he did anything wrong. He, I don't think he does either. But we're going to take that up with the, uh, the uh, director of Brother Minister. We're going to meet Jack Baxter and we're going to press him harder on that. Mm -hmm. Why did he actually utilize that in the film? Yeah. We'll, 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 fact, uh, if you have, without doubt. we're going to do him March. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you March. have any questions between now and March, you want us to stick in there? Yes, I would. Touch. Yeah. Yes, I would. Yes, <laughs> there are questions I would. Days go by. Uh -huh. Because, see, <laughs> I feel that what he, what was foremost in his mind was to really make Farrakhan look as bad as possible. That's right. You know, yeah, that's all right. right. That that was the reason he really, Made you know, film, yeah. okay. All right. And I think that Jeff. What's his name? Al Muhammad. Muhammad. Well, I guess for him, he f must have felt it was an opportunity to work in something that might become big. Uh -huh. But I think he was used. I think person. he was used, right? Yeah, because I remember I, I called you, and I was mm -hmm. all concerned about his safety. Remember that? Yeah. And then uh, you know, uh -huh. I gave us some thought. I said, mm -hmm. "Hey, I'm, I'm looking at this thing differently now." You know? Yeah. But, uh, we're, Wait, we're and and after we finish this, let's bring this up that. I don't want it to be on this, but just among you folks, I want to tell you some things, even after we all okay, watch. We'll do that after yeah, this, afterwards. See, for me to stop. Yeah, I yeah, have to no. Do white mm -hmm. balance again. Yeah. Right, but she's so. talking about in reference to Brother Minister. Okay, yeah. We'll, 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 no, but let's so. not, yeah. Let's but I don't want to have that on no, but here. I'm going to write that down so that once we turn off everything, yeah, after forget. we turn everything okay. off, yeah. Let's continue. Okay, um, what do you think? The tip off. Well, the Gene Roberts thing. I want you to address that again because we were dialoguing with you. Oh, oh, uh huh. So address that again as far as uh, Gene Roberts' role. What do you think of what the man did to, to Markham? First of all, I think that guy has no conscience whatsoever and no consciousness about even being black or the black struggle or anything. I think that guy is just, I don't know, where you place someone like him and the damage that he has done. And I'm sure he was rewarded. Well, first of all, look at how many organizations that he, what do you call it, was used in. I mean, well, the Panther Party. Or, and there, I'm sure there were at least four or five. And so, in the eyes of the FBI or CIA or the government, he must have been a prime person. And yet, he must have patted himself on the back that he could go into these groups and be able to, you know, get information and help, really, the enemy. So he is, I think, part of the enemy. And yet, I don't know, but I wonder how many could be used like that is all right um the ruble bin Mahad, 
was also a victim of gene robbers. Do you know anything about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, Daruba, you know, whenever he spoke, he, he's, he said on many occasions that Gene Roberts was sent as his security. So you could see then that the FBI and the police really knew what they were doing. Of course, no one else in the Panther Party knew. And no one, you know, and I'm sure for a long time, uh, oh, um, oh, <laughs> Daruba was unaware what was happening. But I'm sure at some point, Daruba did get suspicious. He would have to, right? Because even though he went as his security, he never was that active with the Panther Party, I don't think. Uh, you know, I was going through all our guest books, and I was surprised. I don't remember when, but Gene Roberts was here. He signed the book, you could see it. And even that other guy who did in the Queen 17, what's that guy? He became, uh, he's a part of the FBI, a black guy from Queens. He even ran for a position, but good thing that Herman Ferguson got wind of it and he organized against it, so the guy lost the position. But, um, oh, what's his name, Ho something Howard or Howard something, but, but uh, Daruba was certainly a Cointel Pro target, as were many, and it seemed like all those Cointel Pro targets probably had someone like Gene Roberts you know, accompanying them here and there. And they were writing, writing them up, you know. And um, I think that I want to bring up one other person that this, I think, happened to, Mutulu Shakur. Now, Mutulu Shakur kept telling us in RNA that he was suspicious of one person. And all of us said, oh, no, 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 you're wrong. He seemed so dedicated and all that. And then one day, here was this guy, the security, I think it was for, uh, I mean, someone big, whoever was president, I don't know, in the 70s or 80s. Some president came to, to um, New York to see a Broadway play. And this guy, I, should I reveal the name? I don't know if I should. Uh, the RNA people all know now. But when Mutulu used to tell us that this guy was no brother, and none of us really listened to Mutulu or believed and said, no, Mutulu, I think you're wrong. But then his, uh, his picture appeared not only at this Broadway show where he was, I don't know, he was the uh, uh, security for one of the presidents of the 70s or 80s, right? But he also accompanied some other big name government person. Well, I could say his name. Should, is it okay to say his name? Kifarin. Uh, that was the name he used in RNA, uh, but his slave name was something else, Claude something. But Mutulu, it's too bad that here he was suspicious, and we just didn't believe it. Who? Claude Anderson. No, no, it wasn't Anderson. I, I can't remember the name. Okay, and finally, what do you think, uh, well, the tip-off for the speakers, how is it possible all of those entertainers that were supposed to or clergymen who were invited to the ballroom on February 21st got the tip-off not to show up and Everybody in Markham's organization is, on, is in oblivion. They don't know anything. Mm -hmm. It almost seems as if the world, mm -hmm. everybody was tuned in to what the heck was going on instead of who was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think they got scared. I mean, there, was, there were a lot of rumors. And so I think those who were asked to speak on that day felt something was going to happen. And so they just didn't show. I mean, uh, I don't know if I would just condemn them all, you know what I mean? I mean, they're human beings. They knew some, they felt something was going to happen. And here, 
they thought, gee, if they do go, they could be the one killed. Uh, because I hear that most of the people, were, well, they were very important community people. They were those who had quite a bit of following, you know. And so, but some, I don't know if they were, the word is tipped off, or it was the rumors that got to them. Yeah. You did, also, Malcolm did traveling. Mm -hmm. Could you speak to some of the postcards? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, every one of the postcards had a significance because he sent them f from a particular place like uh, the one from England. You think England, why? But because they had the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it was, it was a, um, oh, what is it? The conference of, uh, it was a very special conference. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't find the one in England was